Now take this question. This question was asking year 2009, and it is based on recursive functions. Okay, as you see, you can see we are having a recursive recursive call here. So here we are calling this function again. Okay, and uh, right. So this statement is only linked with this, and this complete bracket is actually linked up to this part. Okay, so here they are saying. Uh, what is the output printed by the above program? Okay. Now in this program, the program execution will start from the main function, and in the main function, we are having this variable x. So let us suppose this is the variable x, and it is storing the value 15. Okay. And let us suppose the base address of this variable x is 1000. Okay. And then we are calling this function. Therefore, we are calling fun 5 comma 1000 that means we are passing the address of this variable x okay so when we call this fun 5 comma 1000 in that case the value of n is 5 and the value of fp is 1000 okay so when we called fun f 5 comma 1000 in that case i just told you this the value of n is 5 and the value of fp is 1000 now this statement in the statement number 1 this is statement number 1 in this case, we are initializing two more variables. This is the variable t, and this is the variable f. In now, then in this if condition, if condition is saying if n is less than or equal to one, but the value of n is five, and five is not less than or equal to one, therefore we will not execute this if if statement. Now we are going to execute this statement. In this statement, they are saying t is equal to fun of n minus 1 that is 4 comma fp okay that means till now we have executed this statement and we have executed this statement okay so we will not execute this statement until we execute this statement completely that means we have to execute this fun 4 comma fp completely before executing this uh, this statement and this statement okay so the value returned by this fun 4 comma fp will be stored in this variable t so when we call fun uh, 4 comma fp in that case the value of n will become 4 and the value of fp uh, this uh, fp we have not uh, done any changes in fp so fp is passed just like this uh, the previous value which is 1000 okay so the value of n is 4 here and the value of fp is 1000 so when we called 4 comma 1000 in that case the statement number 1 this statement will be executed so we will be having two variables which are t and f then this if condition will not be executed because the value of n is 4 and 4 is not less than or equal to 1 therefore we are going to execute this statement and in this statement we are going to get t is equal to sorry this is t here and this is f here so we are going to get t is equal to fun 3 comma fp that is 1000 so when we call this fun 3 comma fp then we are going to execute this statement in this case the value of n is 3 and the value of fp is 1000 and then we are going to uh, having the, have these two variables which are t and f t and f okay and then again we are not going to execute this statement still we are going to execute this uh, this statement right therefore we, uh, the value will become t is equal to fun of 2 comma 1000 so when we called fun of 2 comma 1000 in that case the value of n is 2 and the value of fp is 1000 so we are going to call here uh, we, again we are going to have two variables the variable are t and f so uh, here again we are going to execute this statement because the value of n is not less than 1 so right so uh, it is going to give t is equal to fun of 1 comma 1000 right so when we called fun of 1 comma 1000 in that case uh, the statement number 1 will be executed right therefore we are having two variable t and f f and then this if condition is satisfied so in this case this if condition is satisfied and we are doing star fp is equal to 1 so in this case we are doing star fp is equal to 1 that means we are going to store this value 1 at the location which is pointed by fp okay and the fp is uh, pointing to the location 1000 therefore in the location 1000 we are going to store 1 so this is now going to store 1 right and then we are going to return the value as 1 
right therefore this this statement is going to return the value which is 1 to t therefore t is now going to store 1 okay and then in, in this pre will the control will uh, go back to the previous statement in the previous statement we are having t comma f right so in this previous statement we have executed this statement completely now we are at this part right now in this part we are having f is equal to t plus star fb right so this f will become t plus star fp and the value of t is 1 and the value stored at the star fp location is also 1 if you see the value is also 1 so 1 plus 1 is 2 so 2 will be stored in at this f okay and then we are doing star fp here we are doing star fp is equal to t so this is the this statement so it will be executed now star fp is equal to t that means we will go to the location which is pointed by fp and we are going to store the value at that location which is uh, stored by t okay that means we are going to go to the location 1000 and we are going to store 1 into that location therefore at this location we are again going to store 1 and then we are going to return the value of f the value of f is 2 therefore this 2 value will be returned to this previous function right now in this previous function this 2 value is returned therefore this 2 value is stored in this t so t is now going to store 2 and in this previous function we have completely executed this line so we are going to execute this line and this line is going to make uh, f is equal to t plus star fp okay so the value stored in t is 2 and the value stored at the location which is pointed by fp is also is 1 so uh, it, the statement will come 2 plus 1 therefore f is now going to store 2 plus 1 which is equal to 3 and then we are going to execute this line and in this line we are doing star fp is equal to t that means we will go to the location which is pointed by fp and we are going to store the value which is uh, stored by t here so therefore we are going to store 2 at this location okay and then we are doing return f that means this function is going to return the value of f to this uh, previous call right so in this previous call the value of f is now 3 so this 3 value will be stored in this t so this t variable is now going to store 3 and then again we are going to execute this statement for, uh, for this previous call for this call we are going to execute this statement and this statement will become f is equal to t plus star fp okay that means we are going to store this value which is stored by t the value is 3 plus star fp that means uh, the value pointed by fp so the fp is pointing to this location 2 so it is going to make f is equal to 3 plus 2 which is 5 therefore f is now going to store 5 and then we are going to execute this statement now in this statement we are having star fp is equal to t right that means whatever the value stored by t is now going to store at the location which is pointed by fp therefore uh, fp is now going to store 3 and then we are going to execute this statement now in this statement we are going to return the value of f and the value of f is 5 therefore this 5 value will be returned to this function okay so this 5 value is returned to this function therefore t is now going to store 5 so this 5 is now stored in t and then we are doing f is equal to t plus star fp therefore it is f is equal to t plus star fp and the value stored in t is 5 the value stored at the location which is pointed by fp is 3 therefore this statement will become 3 5 plus 3 so which is going to give 8 so f is now going to store 8 and then we are doing star fp is equal to t right that means we will go to the location which is pointed by fp and we are going to store the value there which is stored by t so t is storing 5 so at this location we are going to store 5 okay and then we are going to return the value of f here so the value of f is 8 therefore this function is going to return the value as 8 so this 8 value will be printed by this program right so uh, here the, they are asking the value printed is 8 therefore the option number b is correct okay so this program is uh, very complicated as you can see i have to make so many recursive calls and in all those recursive calls we have to see what are the lines which are executed right so that means uh, if we made a recursive call we are executing this line until we complete the execution of this line that means we have to uh, do all the recursive call we cannot go to this next statement we cannot go go to this next statement we cannot go to this next statement until we completely execute this line 
okay so if you uh, if it is not clear to you then please rewind the video and watch it again and if it is still not clear then please let me know so that i can make one more video on this question okay right